welcome to a YouTube video. I feel like I just never do them. But today I wanted to go through my everyday makeup routine just to kind of have a refresh. I feel like some of the products have changed, but it's a pretty staple routine. So let's go through it. So I also actually get a lot of questions about my hair and how I style my bangs. I honestly don't even use heat. I literally just get a medium roller like this and roll it up and clip it. And then that is me done. And I'll sleep in it and then I'll wake up and it will be the way I want it to be. So let's start out. My skincare is already done. I'm on a new skincare plan because if you've been following along on the podcast, you know I'm an acne prone girly and it's just one of those things. We're gonna, we're rolling with it. But I feel like I'm really trying to do or make more of a conscious effort to normalize acne a little bit more because I feel like no one, all, like no one posts about it or a few people do, but like not enough people post about it while they're in the thick of it. They post about it when they've got their results, which it's amazing that people get results. I would love to have those results, but I think it's also important to really normalize it. So, first up, I go in with the e.l.f. Brow Lift. She is amazing, I love her so much. And I use the Refi Gel, but I actually don't use the actual um, product because I don't like the formula. I did for a while, but I feel like it doesn't last, whereas I want my eyebrows to last and be really glued up so i just grab a bit on the brush like this and then i literally i don't know if it's in focus but it's not there we go i literally just chuck it on and brush my eyebrows up this is just such an easy way to kind of oh sorry my dog is barking as per usual but yeah it's just a really nice way to get my eyebrows done. So I keep brushing up. Give me one sec, I'm gonna finish them. So once I've kind of brushed them up, I just get the brush and I brush around like that. I used to fill in my eyebrows and I used to think they absolutely slayed. And now looking back at the photos, they were awful. And everyone telling me that they were awful. Well, they were right, I completely agree with them. It was, it was not good. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London Lasting Finish. This has SPF 20 in. I don't really look for SPF in a, sun, in a foundation just because I wear SPF anyway. But I just put one little dollop on my hand. And then I'm gonna dab it on to my face. Okay, then I'm just gonna grab my Beauty Blender. She is used, we love her. And we're literally just gonna dab it in. I feel like with acne prone skin, it's really important if you wanna cover it properly, is to just dab, 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 and keep going. I actually don't really use a super high coverage foundation just because I feel like sometimes it clings to my skin where I don't want it to cling. Um, but I think when you're trying to find a foundation, it's definitely a guessing game until you find what works for you. I do have a foundation that I put on, which is this one when I fake tan. I actually haven't fake tanned, but this just seems to be my go-to at the moment. But if not, I do have a lighter shade foundation that I use when I haven't fake tanned in a while. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Forever Skin correct it's a concealer in 2n this is probably my favorite concealer just because the applicator is really lovely and i'm just gonna go in where i have acne so basically all around my cheeks and kind of wherever is necessary to get some coverage then we're gonna go back in with the beauty blender just over where we've concealed and then I don't put it straight under my eyes, but I do kind of blend it up around my eyes. I don't love the, the look on me when I put concealer right under my eyes. I feel like it makes my face look weird. And we're just gonna keep blending. I feel like it just, obviously you can still 
see my acne but it is what it is okay i've had enough of spending so much of my energy stressing over my skin over what it looks like and just letting it affect my life next we're gonna go in with the chanel um bronzing cream i love this i'm probably due a new one pretty soon and i just use this really old real techniques brush i it's literally got dents in i've had it for years but i just kind of tap it in and then blend it into my skin i love this one because it's super light and also the shade is pretty good i go for the medium shade to be honest i think i bought this a year and a half ago maybe two christmases ago i think i've had it for so long and i use it every day and it literally lasts so long i think the actual product is like 40 pound but i think even though it is a bit expensive it lasts forever so you, i feel like when things are expensive but they last you don't mind spending that money because girl maths but <laughs> you're gonna save over time i can see some hair stuck there but yeah, I just blend it in, kind of, it's more of a dabbing motion for me than a streak. Only because I feel like when I get like that, it takes the foundation off, which obviously, we want to keep the coverage around here. And next, we're going to go in with the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy. I do kind of swap around with my blushes. I think my blushes are the only thing I change. I go from this, and then I also do the Huda Beauty, like, jelly blush um, in shade plum i want to say which i love it's a bit darker but i actually prefer that for the summer i think because it kind of gives that sun kissed sun burn look which i had to really like but with this less is more because it really spreads like you really don't need much at all but i just kind of do three dots around my face and then I grab my blush beauty blender. <laughs> you can't tell I'm a beauty blender fan, which I know is they're not meant to be the best for you, but I just don't know anything else that will put my makeup on like this. But I'm just gonna blend it in and I kind of go in like a circular motion across my face, but it just gives a really nice, simple blush without it being too much. Like, I feel like it blends really nicely. And then, I'm just going to blend it across my nose. So I look like I'm sunburned, but I like this look. I think it looks cute. I don't know if I've got blush blindness. Probably. <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm just a girl. Next, we're going to go in with some eyelash curlers. These are literally like £2 boots ones. I really don't splash out on my tools particularly, but we're just going to do a few little pulses of this on each eye. I do get an LVL. I actually haven't had one in a while. I'm probably overdue an appointment, but I just feel like it just adds a little bit more when you're doing the mascara. Now, I have fallen victim to the brown mascara trend, partly because I also actually don't have a black mascara in my cupboard that doesn't transfer up. But I actually really like this one. This one is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And it doesn't have a shade name on it, but it's the brown one. And I just love it. I just love it. The application is fabulous. It's just a really good one. Especially if you actually don't have super long eyelashes. This one is really, really handy. And really does the job i actually don't love mascara on me on my bottom lashes i just don't know why but yeah let me finish this off i'm gonna do a few coats and then i'll be back now you must believe that i'm not clean girly when it comes to putting on mascara it's just not possible for me so i'm gonna grab an earbud and i'm just gonna wet it and go along to clean the sides And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Benefit Hula um, bronzer. I just put it on my eyelids. I'm not a huge eyeshadow girly. I don't really feel like it suits my face shape or just my face. I feel a bit off when I put too much makeup on, I think. So 
just chuck on a bit of bronzer super cute and then for my lips i actually have a bit of a holy grail trio and i feel like it's a bit of a rogue trio to be honest so i have the a Benetton lip tint that I love. The reason there's actually so much gone isn't because I've used it, it's because I didn't do it out properly and it spilled all in my bag and stained my gym clothes, which was super cute. But I, I still love her. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Deep Taupe, which is just a lovely color. And then my trusty Vaseline. This Vaseline pot is so old. Like, it takes a long time to get to this point with a Vaseline. But yeah, so what I do is I get the Benetton and I literally just kind of paint it on and kind of dab it. But I love this because it gives the illusion that you're wearing lipstick, but it lasts a lot longer than lipstick does. And then I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I just, obviously my, and I just give it a good line. I'm not like super amazing at makeup day to day. And then I just chuck some Vaseline on the top and I call it a day. The reason I use Vaseline as well is because I did a previous um, acne treatment and my skin really didn't agree with it and it made my skin go really, really dry. And my skin is kind of healed from it, like it's not super dry now, but my lips are still so dry. If I wake up and I go out to a workout class without putting any Vaseline on, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I look like Zoella in 2011. <laughs> um, yeah, if I leave and put like um, no Vaseline on, my lips literally go red and raw and they're really really painful so love this for me yeah and they get really really painful so yeah that's my kind of makeup look for every day it doesn't take me very long i feel like it takes me like 10 minutes max which is quite nice when i'm in a rush but do you see what i mean with the roller like i literally just chuck it on and it just makes my hair sit where I want her to sit. But yeah, so that is my final look. I know it's not perfect, but it is realistic. And I feel like that's what we're here for. So I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.